when I was 17 or 18, I left home. I was living in Golden, BC, left my parents, went to go to the University of Calgary, study sciences there. Um, and, you know, that was new life for me. And I knew what a Christian was. My parents are not hypocrites, right? They love God. Uh, I, I'm, I'm aware that not everybody can say that. My parents are good Christian people who really do love God. They say it, they mean it. Um, uh, I had my own personal relationship with God, and I knew that. It was something, I, I knew there was this thing from a young age. I knew that I had a relationship with him. Uh, and, and what I did was, and I was plugged into a, a, a good church, uh, and, and what I did was I took this philosophy of religion course that basically walked through, it was, you know, it was a pretty big name professor, studied at Harvard, whatever, and he walked through a lot of the arguments for and against uh, religion. He was agnostic himself, uh, and so he was just kind of, this is what people say about for God, and this is what people say against God, and I walked through it, and I, and I came out, most of the stuff I found actually, my beliefs, I felt they fared pretty well. There's this one that I could not get around, and and I don't think this is really, I think, I think still for a lot of science majors it exists, but for the most, most of Christianity, I feel like this isn't your burning question. But it was for me at that time. Uh, uh, it's, it's how do you square the claims of, uh, well, the, 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 what we know from science with, what we, with the creation account and, and all that and evolution. You know, the, the whole thing, it was a real problem for me because there I was taking courses on, you know, I took a geology course and talks about how, you know, the, the millions of years of, you know, fossil record and, and uh, mountains being formed and, uh, and, and radiocarbon dating. For those of, for any of the teenagers out here who don't know, radiocarbon dating is what there was before internet dating. Was, so. oh, um, um, no, I can explain that when the questions. Um, so... So, yeah, because I was studying sciences, right? So, and I've got this, and I believe the Bible, and therefore, you know, you got this, you got this hard contradiction between the way I was under, the way I understood the Bible and the way I understood science. And this, I would start thinking about it and trying to work through it. And well, maybe there's truth here. I don't know what's going on here. And I felt like I was cheating on God when I would do that. It was awful. It was, it was like I'm saying, no, actually, the Bible's wrong. Bible's wrong. I know God's real, and 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 it was not a comfortable thing for me. Uh, and I was doing this alone, without really any outside help. Now there was one person from uh, called it was called Campus Crusade at the time. You know the um, power to change, um, who came and and gave me some gave me some good pointers on it. But for the most part, I was walking this out by myself. And so I set a ground rule. I go. I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, Go at this slowly, asking, 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 asking God for understanding, asking for help. And when it feels like I'm doing that cheating on God and denying God again, I'll back off. Ask him some more. Go at it bit by bit. Again, I'm trying to do this alone. I'm trying to, you know, break new territory for myself here. And, and then I, and God faithfully started bringing in sources that would help me understand and, and I started coming to that, to that understanding, like uh, there's one, one statement by um, uh, Francis Schaeffer that says, if we understood science perfectly and we understood the Bible perfectly, there would be no final conflict between the two. And that really helped me. And, you know, I was going through all these, all these steps, um, but I was finding that God was leading me through the things that looked, made it, that were, if I hadn't done it that way, uh, I would have thought maybe God isn't real. Instead, God was the help that got me to the answers. And that's why I'm saying we need to be holding on to the things that we know are true while we're looking to fill out the parts that we don't want to understand. 